I'm CW4 Pamela Montgomery. I'm a 948 Delta Electronic Missile Maintenance System Warrant Officer. I've been in the military 24 years, 13 of which I've been a warrant officer. I'm currently assigned to Fort Lee, Virginia at the Ordnance Training Development as a training developer. As a former TAC officer, what advice would you give incoming candidates attending WALKS? So the advice I have for incoming candidates is to, be, to hone in on your basic leadership skills and also be prepared to take tests without, the, without open book or notes. As a former drill sergeant, what inspired you to transition to warrant officer? My inspiration of becoming a warrant officer as a former drill sergeant was my husband and the warrant officers at the Warrant Officer Training Division at Redstone Arsenal. Um, I was actually on the trail when I decided to submit my warrant officer packet after speaking with my husband and those warrant officers at the Warrant Officer Training Division. So my husband explained to me as a warrant officer how he was able to still work with soldiers because that was first and foremost to me, to be able to still be with my soldiers on the ground and doing the job. So he said that didn't change. The foundation of being a good warrant officer has to be a great NCO. We never lose our skills as a, as a non-commissioned officer when we become warrant officers. We just add to it. Our spectrum of looking at the military just becomes that much greater. So we've been able to influence more than just our soldiers. We're also influencing officers and the commanders that we advise. What makes a competitive packet for 948 Delta? So a competitive packet, first and foremost, needs to be, as a warrant officer, we are subject matter experts, first and foremost. So with that being said, when we're looking at your package, we're looking to see if you have worked in your, in your job, whether the field be a 94 Papa, 94 Sierra, 94 Alpha, all the feeder MOSs into the missile maintenance system. Um, system. We look for that first, because in order to be a, a good warrant officer, you have to be a subject matter expert. Next thing we look for is how you compete against your counterpart. So whether you're number one or number two, so that's going to be a de um, deciding factor of what you're looking for for good, competent NCOs. And the next thing we look for is, say, everyone is all the same. We look to see what your ACFT score and all your ACFT or say, your schooling. What's going to take you over your, your counterpart and make you stand out more? What is life like after the Army as a 948 Delta? Obviously, I'm still in the military, so my life after the military hasn't started yet, but my husband, who is also a 948 Delta, has submitted his retirement packet uh, a month ago. And since then, he's received like five job offers. And speaking to warrant officers that have retired before me, most of them say as soon as they step out the door, they step out into these organizations such as Lockheed Martin or North Germany, because those organizations are looking for warrant officers because we have leadership skills and we can speak the military lingo, and that's those things that civilian, our civilian counterparts don't have. So that's less training that we have to do so we can step straight out of, out of our uniform, straight into a suit, and then get right to work.